Okay, so this is a, this is a timer. Hmm? And this timer, I don't know if you're familiar with this timer. Uh, this timer you can uh, manipulate and then it starts counting the time. Okay? Then if you, if you think to your action of grasping, if you don't know, if you know that it's a grasping and you want to do something like this, what you do? You create a grasp like this. So you do a fingertip grasp, okay, like this, for the upper part of uh, the pomodoro, and then you create your action after, okay? So, but this is very important, you know? This is a fingertip grasp. So I'm grasping the object by using my fingertips. Hmm? And this is one kind of uh, important grasp. It's called fingertip grasps. And it's typically used by humans and robots when you want to manipulate an object. Indeed, I want to manipulate the object because I want to create this kind of rotation. If you want to just move this uh, tomato from one point to another, probably what you do, what will be your grasp? Your grasp will be probably something like this. You will use your whole hand, not the fingertip because the fingertip is much more complex for your brain to control. So you will do something like this. You will grasp and you will move on the other side. Okay? This is a, a big difference in uh, uh, manipulation. So it's called fingertip grasp when you know what you want to do in terms of manipulation. Or if you just want to move the object from one point to another, you just use the power grasp. Okay? Now, Let's focus on this difference. What's the big difference between power grasps and uh, fingertip grasps? Power grasps means that the object becomes one single body with my hand. Okay? So it's fixed. Cannot move with respect to the palm. But my, sh my brain is really sure that wherever I move the palm, the object stay with it, okay? So I, I don't have to model in my brain the dynamics of the object, because the object is attached to my palm, and uh, as soon as, move, as I move my hand, it becomes a single object, the hand with the, uh, the object, and I don't care about the motion of the object with respect to the palm, but they care about the motion of my arm which is much easier, okay? I don't need an extra model in my brain to control the object. On the other side, if I have to do some in-hand manipulation, manipulation with respect to the palm, I typically have to use the fingertip grasp and then I need a model of what? A model of the object and a model of the contacts to create this more advanced control of the object. Okay, so just to summarize, these are the important concepts. In grasping, we have two basic uh, grasping uh, modality. One is power grasp, which is really easier for robots, robotic hands, or for human hands. You just want to move one object from another, okay, without allowing any in hand manipulation, in hand motion, or fingertip grasp when you use your fingertips and then you use your fingers like robots and you have some manipulation with respect to the palm. This is much more complex but in terms of manipulation so it requires more energy either for the human brain or for uh, the computer okay but uh, is uh, much more uh, advanced in terms of manipulation of the object. I can do much many much more things with this. Okay now, if you zoom uh, a little bit uh, on uh, uh, this, uh, this grasp, one uh, can say one thing immediately. One can say, look, uh, okay, but this... Uh, so to do this manipulation, this fingertip grasp, I need uh, many degrees of freedom in the finger, okay? Because I need to control uh, the object through my finger. So the finger becomes like uh, serial linkages, okay? Like other robots to control. On the other side, while I do the power grasp, I just need one degree of freedom and some compliance. We will see in a moment. So 
What I want to say is that there are grippers or robotic hands which very, with very few degrees of freedom that are designed to do power grasp. Okay? Th there are hands that just open and close like this and they are designed to do the power grasp of the object. Okay? While there are more advanced hands like human hand that has a lot of degrees of freedom and can play with the object by using the fingertips. Okay? This is a